Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the collective. All right, now this could be any zodiac sign there is um, that may resonate with this reading, so please take what resonates and leave the, the rest behind for someone else, okay? So I wanted to find out what your reading, your theme might be about, and we have lessons that will help you mature and grow. Angels are with you to help guide you through this. You're moving on and through life's journey with new endeavors and a steady climb with your sudden wealth. You'll think positive and anything can happen. This will help open the doors for you. You have the key. All right, what else can we get? Ooh, flame, oh, the ring, oh, the warrior, the mystic, and the sword, wow, holy shit. Is that king or ring? No, that's ring. <laughs> this is your twin flame collective. They want to bring in romance and a ring for you. They want to marry you. You may be this mystic here, and I feel like you have the sight to see. The warrior, yes, I feel like you're a warrior as well, collective, that I feel like you have accomplished and fought through very hard. Yeah, you have the sword. You're going to win your battles to get to the next part on your journey. Your ancestors are with you with the pilgrim here. Can I get some more here? Wow, that was a lot. Okay, that's too many, but we will take the gem. Wow, yeah, you're like the diamond in the rough. You are a gem. I feel like a lot of people see you as such. Or your person, collective, whoever this message is for, whoever I'm talking to, your person is a gem, a diamond in the rough, a person that everybody wants to covet, that everybody wants to have. Marriage material is what I'm feeling there. And with the ring there, I feel like you're willing to do battle with your sword for this mystic to have this twin flame reunion. The thread, yeah, this is destined. This is definitely the fates. They have the thread, and there's nothing anyone can do about this. This is destined to happen. I kind of feel like your person may be religious or spiritual. They pray or have prayed for this. And I feel like they feel you're funny or that they are quite humorous or funny. They get a lot of attention through humor. humor. And then we have the mountain. And I feel like you're meant to climb this mountain with your twin flame here. This is something, maybe you're a goat. Oh, you, you may be a... Uh, you may be a healer or this mystic is a healer. She may have many gifts or he may. Yeah, there's vows here from a past life, I feel. A vow to take this journey in this lifetime together and find each other once again and heal any past life wounds or any any um, betrayals or hurt. Aletheia. And Aletheia is the truth for the truth. It is like only speaking the truth between the two of you. You mirror each other with that twin flame. Wow. This is so powerful already. <laughs> I haven't even gotten into any other cards. All right, let's do this. Collective, what do we have for the collective? What am I seeing here in these cards? 
And can you tell me about the collective, please, Spirit? What is the message for the collective here? Mm. Yeah, very strong and courageous, mentally, maybe even physically. Maybe pretty buff if you're a masculine, and you may be uh, very um, strong mentally and physically. You may be toned if you're a woman, and you may be very um, mentally strong. Somebody's very unhappy here with the Ten of Cups here. They may be searching for that Ten of Cups and has not come across that. They feel like they're running out of time here with their impatience, trying to adjust or juggle so many things at once. Let's see. Now they're looking at your future. Do I stay? Do I go? Which direction should I go? I'm not happy where I'm at. Yeah, not sure which direction to go. At that crossroads, maybe feeling certain things and knowing that you have a twin flame here. Yeah, the wheel is turning in your favor or for your person. This is a tarot reader. I've been getting this a lot. A tarot reader showing up who is destined to have the wheel of fortune. Um, let's see. What else for the collective, please? For the collective. <laughs> oh my god! She definitely is a mystic and a healer here. We have the tarot reader who is the empress and also the high priestess. You will not get past her with anything. If you do not speak the truth to this person, to your twin flame, you mirror each other, you learn through this. You will see yourself in your other person through this twin flame. This person with the tarot reader coming up and the high priestess, she's all knowing, all knowing. She has foresight. She's enlightened. And you may find her very mysterious. You may feel like you can put her in this type of box, but she does not fit there. She's destined for something here. And I feel like she has the power to pick who comes with her. This might be destined for this twin flame. Hangman in reverse. This is Neptune. This is to do with the imagination. Somebody may have to repeat a lesson here. They may not have gotten it. They may be being selfish or feeling powerless in something. Maybe in any decision that this masculine comes in, this empress has the final say. What is this strength card here? Yeah, Eight of Cups in Reverse. Fear of change, maybe even low self-esteem, but very wanting this passionate new beginning here. Having the courage to look for that. This may be this Empress here who isn't happy at this time. Or it could be <laughs> a King of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> who's unhappy. This Empress and this King of Wands might end up being Twin Flames here. What is this Two of Pentacles? Mm. Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. So, this is somebody not trusting themselves. Okay. They may have imbalances not standing up for what they believe in. And with the death card in reverse, this is Scorpio energy, secretive. This is an unwanted change or some type of fear. And that has to do with having the impatience here 
and the ability to maybe balance something out here when it comes to not trusting themselves. I feel like they need to end out that cycle, but with the death card in reverse, I kind of feel like it may take time. It There's delays here or it's an unwanted change. This person may not have realized that they need to change something here. It also could just be fear about not being able to adapt. Do I stay or do I go with the two of wands? Yeah. Now this could be your person or this could be this empress who's coming out of some type of betrayal here. What? Okay. Yeah, having the strength, clarity. I feel like with the strength card there, there's courage, integrity, that inner power. I'm not taking those, but I will. No, I'm not taking them. I didn't really see what they were, and I can't really say for sure. So what is the two? Okay, yeah. So it looks like two people are unhappy here. Somebody's not happy about not knowing which direction they're going. This might be fear of the unknown. And with the sun in reverse, that that's unhappiness. It could be STDs. It also could be um, somebody that's immature here. Queen of Wands. She's not happy about the direction you're taking or the crossroads you're at for this King of Wands. Because this Queen of Wands is in reverse. She's ticked off. This may have been a soulmate, but with her being in reverse, she's a karmic. There was lessons needed to learn. Ah, come on. Lessons to help you mature and grow that you needed to learn. What is this Wheel of Fortune here? Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. King of Swords, something about fairness, wanting to be fair. They're watching you, or there's a King of Swords that's watching you who may be a magician, who may actually manifested something here. This is Mercury, and we I feel like we're coming out of Mercury retrograde. We may already be out of that. Let's see. What is this? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask. I'm not taking that. And that looks like somebody doesn't want to look does doesn't want to lose an opportunity with this tarot reader. Yeah, when it comes to love. Okay, what is this empress? I feel like this tarot reader is this empress. Yeah, she may have made a bad judgment call in the past about something. Judgment in reverse is <clears throat> somebody that is stuck in the past having self-doubts or some type of un bad judgment. This is usually Pluto, some transformation here, but that's not what's happening here with the Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody might have emotional trauma here with the Page of Wands in reverse. What is this High Priestess? Knight of Swords. Yeah, you, you're masculine here, Empress, maybe wanting to come in. You know this already, though. You already know this. I feel like this tarot reader or this Empress here, I feel like she... She may already know all of everything, yeah. 
Hierophant. She's spiritual. She's connected to spirit here. Her and the Most High are working to have something come together here. Five of Swords in reverse. Regret, reconciliation here. This is somebody you know from your past or somebody that was fairly new to you that maybe things never got off the ground. Maybe it was just a friend or somebody you just met that things didn't work out with. They're coming back around. Somebody here is your twin flame. Searching for the truth, truth for truth. And I feel like you're going to be able to sit down with this empress and speak some type of truth. Because we have a queen of wands that wants to get in the way of this union. And we have a king of swords that's also trying to get into this union. They're watching your empress like a hawk. They may even have other people watching your empress. They feel like this empress is ready to get this good fortune here. And this Queen of Wands here is unhappy and doesn't like the direction you're going, masculine. This Divine Masculine. I feel like perhaps you're mirroring your counterpart here, your Twin Flame. You're both getting out of some type of betrayal and you're having the courage to decide what you're going to do without... I feel like you're not going to let too many people get in the way. Somebody may even have, they may have contact. this King of Wands may have contacted this Empress and this Queen of Wands may be found out. Or he used, this King of Wands used this Empress to get this Queen of Wands jealous. And it might be this King of Swords that's going to swoop in before this King of Wands can get can get there. I feel like they may be unable to come forward right away. Somebody may be doing magic on because they go, do I stay? Do I go? And then not knowing which direction to take. And I feel like that might have to do with somebody being a magician. It might be this king of swords. This King of Swords might know this King of Wands and maybe trying to keep him stuck on purpose by doing some type of black magic. I feel like this King of Swords may also know this Queen of Wands. They may be working together to keep the two of you apart. I've been getting this for a little while. And with the Hangman in reverse, Somebody's going to have to repeat lessons here. They didn't get the lesson. Or they didn't do the right thing here about coming forward. I feel like whenever this person that's meant to come in to give you this love offer, it's not showing me who. But when they do come in towards this tarot reader, I feel like with the Page of Wands and the Judgment card in reverse, I feel like there's a lot of self-doubt here. Somebody that's made a bad judgment before. They may be stuck in the past with this Queen of Wands. And I kind of feel like they feel like maybe this Queen or this Empress is a bad judgment call. It may be even this empress feels this is a bad judgment call. There might be too much emotional trauma that needs to be healed. Somebody may even come forward and this high priestess has already seen this. They're going to come in impatiently and maybe even propose. There's going to be boundaries put in place. And people are going to gossip.
And then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody might be reckless, aggressive, maybe even vicious towards this Empress. Somebody's very passionate for this Empress and somebody's gonna get, this Empress is gonna walk away from somebody here. She's not gonna put up with any lovers, that's why it has to be in reverse. And with the Five of Swords in reverse, I feel like they really do regret whatever it was they did or whatever misunderstanding there was and they do want some type of reconciliation with you. Now, if you're not taking the past back, then this may not be your reading. Um, there is a twin flame coming in for you. And I feel like you have the choice to decide to open that door to that person or not. And I feel like you may feel this is a bad judgment call here and that because they're coming in so quickly, and want marriage that you may need time to think this through so take the time you need let's do some more cards here let's see what did we get yeah broken heart I feel like there may have been <laughs> I want to say somebody didn't walk away from somebody else but they had the courage to possibly want something new with you and whatever it was broke this empress's heart or this king of wands whether the empress walked away or it was the king of wands maybe even ghosted yeah the king of wands may have some envy envious people around them i feel like it might be this queen of wands in reverse this karmic Yeah, this masculine needs to activate his fifth chakra through Archangel Gabriel. Number 12 turns out to be a three. There might be a group of people here that is doing something here. It could be friends that don't like this empress and this masculine needs to stick up for his empress. What is the strength here? I feel like he does find the strength or if this is thinking about the future and coming out of some type of betrayal I feel like they're finding the strength man holding a heart so I feel like this king of wands truly does love this empress he's willing to put his heart on the line what's this queen of wands in reverse hmm we have third chakra, Archangel uh, Jamel, and then we have first chakra, which is Archangel Michael. So there might be a couple of chakras that are closed here off to this Queen of Wands. And I feel like it has to do with seduction and trusting her intuition or her gut with the solar plex chakra. And I feel like she's not doing either one. I feel like she knows this person isn't her person already. Things haven't worked out, but she's not willing to let this masculine go. Yeah, seventh chakra. There's a king here who's a magician who may also have gifts with the seventh chakra or he's very jealous of this empress who has her crown chakra open. I do feel like there's magic here somewhere. Somebody's doing something. Yeah, they love the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael with the heart chakra to open. And this is an ascended master number 11. This is works out to be unity with and duality and partnership and balance with this love. Somebody wants somebody to open their heart chakra towards them. This might be this um, magician here, this king of swords. With number five, that is change. Change is coming. Change, instability, and conflict here. 
this masculine is going to come in here woman holding a coin and that's all he wants from her it isn't her heart it is her coin that he's looking for from this empress because she already showed up as a queen of pentacles i'm feeling like she has her own business i don't know if we actually have her as a queen of pentacles even in this but i'm feeling queen of pentacles energy here yeah she's not coming in as that but i'm feeling it with the coin here i feel like she is somebody that may have her own business and her own money with this holding a coin what is this hierophant and the knight of swords somebody's coming in impatiently <laughs> for marriage and wow number 11 again this is cornucopia <laughs> number six is restoration cooperation and harmony and i feel like that's what's going to happen with this man holding a heart um that's number nine fruition attainment and fulfillment i feel like they're definitely going to get that they just have to um i don't know uh something's got to happen here for these other two energies to take a hike out of this person's energy or out of both um, the masculine and the feminine that are holding them both back from coming together for a caring connection I can't make this shit up. Number five, again, there has to be a huge change. Somebody is not learning the lesson, though. So towards this caring connection, and it looks like it is the masculine that hasn't done the work, walked away from somebody for good, not keeping them around to have them as a fuck buddy or a third party or have your cake and eat it too because this empress doesn't become an empress and have third parties there's just no way she will stand for that that is part of her boundaries just as if this masculine wouldn't want her to cheat on him he is not to cheat on her i feel like this masculine maybe never ever chose this woman all the time that he has known her it's always been other people he has chose over her. And that may be why she feels he's not the right choice. But I feel like that she might change her mind here. Things will be slow, I feel. Even though there's a fast action, that's to come in because of this other masculine coming in. And this other masculine might come in because this king of wands has come in and doesn't want him to take the empress because he knows she's meant for this cornucopia he can see it he has gifts as well wow something's got to give on this the doors will open but you got to know the right the right knock <laughs> gotta have the right um sequence of things for it to work in your favor you don't want to have to keep repeating this loop that you seem to be in this never-ending cycle i feel like you know exactly who your empress is this king of wands knows exactly who she is he may not be able to come forward at this time. But he will when this king of wands come or this king of swords comes in. If this king of swords comes in, this king of wands will come in. No matter where they are, whether they have cleared shit up or not. Because they do not want this empress to get away. And I feel like if it is the king of wands that comes in for this empress the king of swords is going to come in to try to cause delays or upheaval or some type of distraction to change the dynamic between the king of wands and this woman holding a coin wow this is a powerful reading for the collective now there has been a tarot reader that 
I have been picking up on who is meant to have this cornucopia. Things are supposed to change in her life. And she is meant to have this twin flame union. It's the fated uh, destiny for them. They're meant to do something together. But I feel like she can do it all on her own. She does not need this masculine to get to where she needs to go. So she may decide to take this road all by herself. If this masculine can't get his shit together, she may not wait. So masculine, if this is you, <laughs> get your shit together, man. <laughs> Go towards who you're truly passionate for, your empress. Open your heart. You two are meant to do something incredible together. There's supposed to be some type of sudden wealth, okay, between the two of you. There's good things coming for you. You're both, I feel, I know this empress is a warrior. She is clear, clear on her faith. There's clarity of where she's going. She's in her life purpose, I feel, for her to show up as the empress. And with cornucopia around the corner for her, I feel like when she meets her twin flame or rekindles her with her twin flame, Things are only going to go up from there. Wow, that's beautiful collective. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. All right, guys, <laughs> take care. Stay blessed. And we'll see you guys all next time. All right, later.